Welcome to the Afrocentric Woman, where our mission is to inspire Black women to heal core wounds and embrace a luxurious and abundant lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. Let's talk, sis. Hi, beautifuls. Thank you so much for tuning into the Afrocentric Woman. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and supporting this channel. I wanted to come on here quickly to share up the bright side of Kevin Samuels and people like him, um, but particularly him because whatever he's rising to prominence uh by demeaning and degrading black women on a war world stage almost nightly so uh the good thing about kevin samuels and it helps you if you're dating um even interacting with anybody it, it helps you to screen through uh who you are going to choose to spend your time with especially if you are if you're on this channel, I'm assuming you're someone who um, values someone who values women, right? Someone who values and respects women, and that's who you want to interact with. Rather it be women who value and respect women or men who value and respect women. So uh, the great thing about Kevin Samuels is that you know if someone supports him, they don't support you if you're a woman. And you know if that someone supports him and his rhetoric, then they they don't have respect for women because Kevin Samuels doesn't have respect for women. So I was scrolling through today. What was I doing? Answering some emails, trying to update some stuff on my business website. And I'm kind of like just swiping through on my dating profile, uh, looking at other people's dating profiles. And there's always this people self expose. And that's the wonderful thing. And this, I'm going to share the screenshot with you where a guy is saying he quotes from Kevin Samuels too much. So um, the great thing about, well, let me say this, let me back up. You don't have to waste your time dealing with dusties, dealing with males who are not going to respect you, who are not going to value you, who are going to try to extract as much from you, use you, exploit you without investing anything into you. Someone who does not value you intrinsically as a woman. These people oftentimes will self-expose even in their dating pro profiles or if you're out and about, let's say you're at, you know, a coffee shop or you're at a restaurant or you're at a lounge or you're at an event or you're at a gallery and someone's approaching you and they're being sleazy, they're being weird, you know, there's just you can kind of tell from even the types of questions that they ask that it it's not going to be a good fit and you don't have to go down that road of well he said these things wrong or he you know i'm getting a bad feeling about this but let me just push forward anyway and just see where things go because this is how ladies end up squandering their own time this is how you end up putting yourself in compromising positions this is how you end up uh, getting all dressed up and getting all dolled up for someone to say, oh, let's go get, let's go grab a drink or let's go to the coffee shop or something like that, right? So um, I'm going to try to be more diligent. I do have some um, screenshots in my archive of dusty profiles on dating websites. So I'm going to do my best to start sharing those with you so I can kind of um, help you kind of cut through the chase so that you're not swiping on dusty profiles and you can save some time because a lot of times they'll self-expose and so anytime um the great thing about kevin samuels is like sometimes i pretend to be a supporter just because i want to know where somebody's head is at so i may meet a guy especially if he's african-american i might meet him and say oh my god kevin samuels is amazing he shares the best advice and if the guy tells me oh my god yeah i love that guy i'm like okay well um I just made just hang up and block, block, delete, block, delete. You know, I, I, if the guy's like, who is that? Perfect. Um, that's just if I'm on the cusp and I'm not really sure, which is, which is rare because, you know, lucky for me, I've been really honing in on my discernment, um, over the past few years, my discernment, being able to cut through the chase. I can read through the lines beautifully. I can infer when people are dusty. I can infer when people are looking for a 50-50 woman, when they're looking for Barbara the Builder, when they're looking for a pick Misha, when they're looking for a freak Misha. I am getting so good at cutting to the chase and not even bothering going down that route. Now, the screenshot that I'm sharing with you now, the guy's actually a Caucasian. He's actually a white guy. 
uh, I want to say in his like mid fifties. So um, more, <clears throat> more uh, people, it, it's primarily African-American males, other black males of other nationalities, but uh, other males who hate women are also coming on board to Kevin Samuels. So Kevin Samuels is crossing over uh, to other uh, communities of, of, of males, of underdeveloped males. Um, and that's how I think that he's getting the numbers that he's getting because it's he's a, his rhetoric is appealing to a variety of women hating um, males and female fe females who hate female, women as well. So look out for things like this. And if you want to find out if a guy supports Kevin Samuels, just ask, like, just pretend, don't ask him because he might become suspicious, but just pretend like you do too. Just nonchalantly say it if you're not sure if the guy is like woman hating, just nonchalantly mention it and just see what he says. So if he disagrees with Kevin Samuels, you probably have a good, like, like that's a sign that he's a good guy. <laughs> if he if he vehemently disagrees with Kevin Samuels and he thinks that Kevin Samuels is full of shit, you know that at least you have a clue and inclination that the guy is decent, a decent human being. And if he doesn't even know who the hell Kevin Samuels is, he doesn't have time to be on YouTube, which is perfect. Those are most of my men. Most of my men are they have a lot they they have um a lot of businesses and jo and like high powered jobs, they don't have time to be on YouTube. Um, and they definitely don't have time to follow any man like they are creating their own course. And they don't need to call any other man God daddy. And if you ask them to call some random male on YouTube Godfather, they would laugh in your face because they're like, um, I have a dad, I don't need a YouTube dad. So, <clears throat> so a lot of the men who are actually out there making money, and who have money and who are, you know, executives and companies or have their own companies or have portfolios that are doing really, really well. Many of them don't have a clue who Kevin Samuels is and they don't be on YouTube on the Manosphere. It's mostly low level type of guys um, who know about it. So you want to, you know, it's just another tool. We have many, many, many tools in our tool bag to help get to the core, get to the heart of the manner of the matter to see who is who, who is for us. Is this going to be a good investment of our time? Time is very precious. Even if you are roster dating, even if you have multiple men that you're entertaining, your time is still very, very precious. So you want to formulate yourself and put yourself in such a way that you're you're in spending time with men that have a promising future right no matter where that goes it may not necessarily lead to marriage but it could lead to a wonderful trip it could lead to a wonderful date it could lead to a wonderful staycation it could lead to a wonderful shopping trip it could lead to a wonderful uh, local in-town adventure like horseback riding or going to a vineyard or going skydiving or going taking a helicopter you know tour of your city or whatever you know like it's about the journey and that's really what I try to celebrate on this channel not just just like if you don't get married you're worthless no that's not what this channel is about many of us want to be married many of us want to be in committed relationships and we'll get there but we ought to know how to get there right and we get there through enjoying the journey and having fun leveling up being you know fabulous and wonderful and feeling content and feeling whole right and relationship will come if you want marriage it'll come it will come, but we have to be better about how we choose our suitors. That's that, that's the, the golden crux. That is the base foundation of getting to the marriage. We can't be so hyper-focused on marriage that we don't know how to select the dating profile. Because if you select the wrong dating profile, or if you're out and about and you entertain the, entertain the wrong male, that is time that you are investing into a dusty situation that you could be entertaining your potential husband, right? But I would say to take the edge off, to take the pressure off of yourself, to take the, the anxiety, to take that, that death grip off of the relationship, think about it as having a good time. Show up being fabulous, right? And spend time with people who value you. Go where you are celebrated, Go where you are revered. Go where you are admired. Don't go where you are merely tolerated. 
Don't go where people are trying to just see what they can get from you. Well, what you bring to the table, what you going to do for me. Well, da, 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 tell me, you know, give me your resume so I can see if you're good enough for me. That's a situation that ladies like us, we run from those situations. We go to the situations of the men who are so secure in themselves. They have a lot going on. They're successful. They are healthy and they treat us well. We, we judge males by their actions, not by what they say. So I am adding yet another tool in your tool book of discernment, of your tool book of vetting, of your tool book of getting to the best quality suitors for you and dating partners for you. And you want to be looking out for this situation because they will self expose. Um, like I said, I, I do, I'll share more screenshots as soon as I'm able. Um, I'll try to get the content out as soon as I'm able because I want to share more ideas and ways that you can um, cut through and, and not waste your time on Dusties. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate you. Thank you for liking and sharing this video if this could help someone and subscribing to the channels. And by the way, while you're at it, why not hit the notification bell? All right. Peace and love. And just one little um, one little other note that I wanted to make about this particular profile uh, that I thought of after I recorded the first part of this video is that he says that 90% of women are swiping on 10% of the profiles. So this, even if he had not mentioned Kevin Samuels, you already know that this is one of those males who has the idea that, oh, I'm elite, I'm the prize. Uh, I'm I'm the type of uh, man that just so f all the women want such a small group of people, and their 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 life is very uh, short sighted, uh, if you will. Like they really feel um, like there aren't a lot of high earners, or they just have created a an existence whereby uh, either they feel special, even if they're not even high earners, because. Most males who comment on this material, they're not high earners or they're not high net worth. You know what I mean? Maybe they aspire to or they just get some satisfaction to know that women want high earners and high, guys with high net worth and they can't all, all of them can't get them. Just that enough alone for them for, you know, is enough for them to be satisfied, to just know that women want something that they can't have. And they feel like if you can't get what you really want, maybe you'll settle for me and I won't have to do anything for you instead of, hey, they want that. Let me become that. You see what I'm saying? So even if uh, that statement alone is enough to swipe left, uh, it's arrogant and he thinks he's the prize. He thinks he's special. Um, there's nothing wrong with feeling special, but confidence in a man should come out in terms of his accomplishments and in terms of what he's what he's demonstrating in his life not just to walk around and be howdy and say oh everybody wants me i'm such the prize like that's very effeminate it's very negative it's not going to be a good fit for a woman because he may like like anyway avoid it tell me what you see in that and help me understand that you would know like that will not be a good fit for you if you're looking for a masculine provider and protector. All right, that was my little post uh, recording there. Thank you for uh, listening. Please like and subscribe. Peace. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with the Afrocentric woman. Special gratitude to our subscribers. If you'd like to stay connected with this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you like this content, please hit the like button. If you have any comments or thoughts about the content shared, please drop down into the comment section and let us know. Remember, you are worthy, you are enough, you are unique, and you are lovable. And I appreciate you.